I normally don't like to comment about stuff that's happening in the media. I feel like they got blogs and blogs and all kinds of sites like that for people who are far more qualified to comment about stuff than I do. But I have to talk about this. Have y'all heard about what's going on with this young woman where she went to Capo San Lucas, Mexico? Getting here, getting here, getting here, okay? I, I, honey, I'm not a judge, so I can't say what did or didn't happen. But what they, but what the, the what I've been reading online is that they're saying that she went down there and it appears. So her, well, it appears that the way that they saying she died was not how she really died. So anyway, they're saying that her friends said that she went down there with them, this group of friends, that she went down to Mexico with them. And young girl, 25, 25, young. Imagine one of your kids going down to Mexico um, and then this happened to them. Went down there with a couple of friends. Anyway, turns up dead. Told the par- Her friends told her parents that, um, that she died of um, alcohol poisoning. Drank too much, right? Why the coroner's report, autopsy, whatever you want to call it, why that said that she really passed away from um, a broken neck or something like that? And that they it appeared violent. I don't know what the whole thing was. I'm just going by what I've been seeing on these different websites and all this other stuff. I don't know who did what, but I know something in the buttermilk ain't clean. Thank you so much, Danielle Scott, for sharing this video. Let me tell you this right now, okay? We got to stop hanging out with people who we got a funny feeling about. Stop hanging around people who jealous of you. Stop hanging around people who don't want the best for you. Stop hanging around people who are shady towards you. You know they're shady towards you, but you still tolerate them. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I heard, and I don't know if this is true, but I've been watched, I've been mesmerized by this story. I don't know why. But um, I was, and when I say I don't know why, meaning horrible things happen every day. This was caught my attention, probably because it caught most of your attention too. But one of the things I saw on one of these sites was that apparently she had called her mother the day or two beforehand and said that she felt like things were funny there. Funny, right? And then here's the other piece. A video came out. Did y'all see the video? Oh, I looked for it. I searched for it online. Okay, I'm not posting this too much. There's a video online. I saw the one without the pixelation on it where one of the other young women she was on a trip with, body it appeared the body slammed her. (coughs) Body slammed her. I don't know the right terminology. And then the girl didn't get up after that. You didn't see her get up after that in the video. She's sitting there. I don't know what happened. Was that the time that she broke her neck? I don't know. I was floored. All I could think about was what if one of mine had gone on vacation with their friends and I got that news. And what, and then and get this, get this, get this. The man who's on the trip with them, it was a guy who's on the trip with them who they say was her friend. He filming it the whole time. So she's sitting up here. She wasn't dressed. She was naked. Not dressed. The girl's beating her behind. He's saying, at least hit her back. At least hit her back. Why are you filming this in the first place? Why is she in this state? Why are y'all fighting this girl? Have y'all heard about this? Honey, it was, I was floored. I was disgusted. I was disgusted, you know? But to me, what I thought about was this. I don't play with this. If I have a funny feeling about you, I don't hang with you. I don't deal with you. I don't do nothing with you. If I start to get a funny feeling about you, I'm done. I don't, I don't, you got, you don't, you got, you don't even have one time to bring that around me. You bring that funny feeling acting, you act that, you acting funny around me. You acting funny. You say stuff behind my back. I hear you saying some mess about me. I'm not going to confront you about it. I ain't going to say nothing about it. I'm just going to be done with you. All right. I don't need to know your reason why. Let me plug this in. Okay. I don't need to know your reason why. All I need to know is to trust my instincts. Okay. This young woman sitting here. Cold in a grave. I don't know if they buried her yet. But she's sitting up here. Life is done for being around the wrong people. I believe that. Because even, even if she did pass from alcohol poisoning, you don't need to be around people who you would be doing that with in the first place. You see what I'm saying? It's very sad, Teresa. Um, but yeah, I'm just telling you this right now. For your kids, your loved ones, for yourself, Please encourage them to trust their instincts around the people that they're spending time with. Please encourage them to trust their instincts. Your instincts are never wrong. Thank you for sharing this video and let me know y'all shared it. Um, Caroline and Vicky, thank you so much. Trust your instincts. That friend who you know really don't rock with you, really don't like you like that, right? Don't deal with them. Someone just said, I'm not going to call her name out. She said, I said that about my husband's sister. Don't be around them. You know, Thanksgiving, the holidays, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, everything coming up right now. Don't go to nobody's house. 
Don't go to nobody's house who you don't really deal with like that. You ain't. If I don't like you like that, you ain't making my plate. I ain't even at your house. Even not to say you're gonna do nothing to my food. I just don't trust. You. I don't want to be around you. Why would I put myself in the space around people I don't like? Those frenemies, those relatives who are nice, nasty, who love to say nasty things about you. Why are you going over there? Well, those are my in-laws. Let him go to his mama's house. Okay, he know you don't want to deal with Miss Cheryl. Okay, you go visit Miss Cheryl. Tell her I said hello. Tell her I wasn't feeling well. It ain't a lie. I don't feel good about seeing her. Okay, and you stay at home. Come on back here. I'll see you when you get back. Go over to your mother's house. Go over to your friend's house. You know what I'm saying? Stop feeling like you got to be around people just because they're your friend. They're your relative. They're your whatever. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Family ain't got nothing to do with nothing except it ain't got nothing to do with blood. It got to do with how people treat you. A friend. Ain't nobody your friend. They are not your friend if they don't treat you the right way. I will not ever obligate myself. Thank you for sharing this video, Charles. Um, and let me know you share so I can call y'all out. I will never obligate myself to be around anyone or anything that makes me feel less than safe emotionally around them. Okay? That applies to family. That applies to friends. That applies to everybody. Okay? Even some coworkers. If they don't feel kosher to be around, deal with them only when you need to deal with them. Don't be hanging out with them. Don't be telling them your business. Don't be doing nothing like that. Okay? Not everybody I was raised like you and there's some people out here who are bad to the core horrible to the core ruined to the core you see what they was doing to that girl in that video watch the video find it find it beating on her like that beating on her like that come on now she wasn't even fighting back the dude even says you why ain't you fighting back you come on now you rotten to the core to treat somebody like that you got to be rotten to the core and he filming it this woman is getting her behind beating you filming it Okay, and we would later find out that that appeared to be the last hours or the last days of her life. You see what I'm saying? And you filming this experience. Maybe y'all didn't know what the outcome was going to be, but it couldn't have been a good outcome. Ruin to the core. Ruin to the core. Horrible people. Horrible people. You got to understand that everybody ain't raised like you. Everybody ain't got the same intentions as you. Some people are horrible. Okay? Some place, the only place some people need to have in your life is not in your life. Trust your instincts. In this holiday season, if they ain't bringing you peace, don't be around them. I don't care how guilty or how bad you feel about it, okay? You better stay home. Watch. You know what I was doing right now? I was watching Nephew Tommy on um, YouTube. That's Steve Harvey's nephew. He do his prank calls. I was watching Joan Rivers. I love Joan Rivers. I was watching some Joan Rivers stand-up. I had Marco down here watching. I had DJ watching, too. You know, I do me. I ain't got to be with everybody. Sometimes I hang out. I hung out with one of my friends yesterday. You know, I ain't got to be around everybody. I ain't got to be. And just because I don't hang with you don't mean I don't like your energy. I'm, my point is, that ain't what it's got to do with me. I hang where I want to hang. I do what I want to do. I don't feel obligated to be up, be, be up under everybody. I don't need everybody breathing on me. And you don't need me breathing on you. I hang with who I want to hang with when I want to hang with them. You know, people say, oh, you so selective. You always, you never available. Yeah, I, I, I learned to enjoy my own company. I like being by myself. Okay, and because I've learned to like being by myself, can't nobody disrupt how I'm feeling. Can't nobody get into my head like that. Can't nobody, you're not going to bring no, no mess into my life because I know what peace feel like. I know what peace feel like. That here couch right there, that's peaceful to me. Being up there with those boys, that's peaceful to me. We did a nice day trip, drove for an hour, you know, had a nice day trip. That's peaceful. Get to know what peace feel like because that's the problem. Some of y'all don't know what peace feel like. Y'all don't know what true peace feel like. So when somebody come into your life and they not bringing you peace, they bring you to toxicity, it feel normal to you because you used to that. Get to know what peace feel like. Spend some time by yourself a lot so you can get to know what peace feel like. And that way your discernment is even higher when people come around you not bringing you peace. My thing was, what, what, what was going on in that young woman's life where she was even okay with traveling with people like that? Because I'm willing to bet that they didn't turn out to be that bad just when they got to Cabo San Lucas. There was probably some mess happening beforehand. I'm not saying she missed some signs, but I am saying God knows if she was my baby girl, I, I would have really wished that she would have saw the signs before she got on that, on that last plane ride that she ever got on. Mm, 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 mm. Comment below on here. Tell me what y'all know about this story. I just thought, like I said, I don't like to comment on news stories because I, I don't view myself as a news person. Y'all come here for happiness. Y'all come here for, for, for a little drama. Y'all come here for stuff that's an escape from what's going on in the world. But honey, this is all over the place and there's a bigger lesson here, okay? There's a bigger lesson here. Keep, learn what peace looks like so you can trust your discernment when somebody comes into your life who's not bringing you peace. Trust your instincts, baby. It'll protect you every time.